This presentation is done by Rahul Desa EOFDRDY Paddle IHMCTPUNA Subject, Advanced Food Production Systems Subject Code, HS301. Sandwiches versatile profitable popular and served all day there is a sandwich for everyone. Two slices of bread enclosed with a filling that could be meat vegetables or cheese. Sandwich is made of three components bread spread and fillings. History named after the 4th Earl of Sandwich a chronic gambler who acquired the habit of eating his meal of sliced cold meat pressed between two slices of bread while gambling. It was a customary practice in France to feed the laborers with sliced cold meat sandwiched between crusty slices of brown bread. Parts of Sandwich There are four parts of sandwich bread spread filing garnish. Bread's usage of white plain bread made in large rectangular molds. Breads can be toasted, grilled, or plain. Bread provide the following for the sandwiches, variety, texture, flavor and aroma, eye appeal, bulk, vitamins and minerals. Selection of bread Always select a fresh bread a day old is preferred that has a close smooth crumb, good flavor and moistness. The bread should be capable of being picked up without bending or losing filling. Choose a bread that has a fine grain texture and is firm. Bread should be at least 12 hours old to improve the slicing quality. Types of bread sandwich loaf French baguette rye bread whole wheat bread. Pita soft rolled bagel multigrain. Focaccia sourdough chibata pumpernickel. Spreads it provides moistness. Flavors preservation spread serves three primary purposes in sandwiches. A. To act as sealant for the bread, forming moisture barrier between bread and filling. B. To add flavor as well as enhance the flavor of the filling. C. To add moisture to the sandwiches, improving its mouth feel. Filling it provides taste texture flavor name to the sandwich such as smoked salmon, prawns, lobster, ham, tongue, brisket, corned beef, roast beef slash lamb, pork, salami, mortadella, roast chicken, duck, turkey, eggs, dry and damp, cream cheeses, vegetables, etc. The basic guidelines for the filling are 1. One third two of the total weight of the sandwich should be the filling. 2. Filling should be pleasantly flavored. 3. Filling must be tender in nature. 4. Filling should always be of the bone meats and not bone in 5. Fillings must be easy to eat. 6. Fillings should not hang over the sides of the sandwich. Types of filling meat vegetable seafood. Cheese egg. Salad. Garnish should be fresh and eye appealing. Mostly done in case of open faced sandwiches. Like lettuce, tomato, watercress, spring onions, radishes, gherkins, cucumber, and parsley. Types of garnish olives, capers, gherkins, sun dried tomatoes. Types of sandwiches cold sandwiches, conventional closed lunch box sandwiches. A plain sandwich is made up of two slices of buttered bread. Preferably a day old bread filled with assorted savory fillings. Crusts is removed. Traditional second perwad in which filling enclosed bet two slices of wheat brown bread roll along with spread and garnish. Sliced half diagonally two triangle side trimmed. Plain sandwich A plain sandwich is made up of two slices of bread, preferably a day old bread, toasted if desired, and on which butter can be readily spread. Its crusts may or may not be removed depending upon your preference. Butter, mayonnaise or prepared sandwich spread may be used as lining to prevent the bread from absorbing moisture from the filling. Buffet or small fancy second perwad made from thin bread slices with filling cut into fancy shapes and sides are trimmed. Open sandwich open sandwiches make use of only one kind of bread with the filling on top. The slices of white bread can be cut into squares, triangles or rounds. Butter is spread lightly on top and pieces of cheese or meat fillings are placed on top. 
They may be garnished with slices of carrots, raisins, pickles and the like to make them more attractive. Open sandwiches are similar to canap. Pingale sandwiches Pingales are made of bread loaf cut lengthwise, about 3 8 inch thick. Fresh bread is preferable because they are easy to roll and will not crack. Trim crusts and flatten long slices with rolling pin. Spread bread with softened butter or margarine and your choice of any smooth filling, like cream cheese, marmalades, cheese pimiento, peanut butter, jams and jellies. Smooth filling are ideal for pinwheel sandwiches, because they do not have bulk and can be spread thinly. Submarine sandwich A submarine sandwich or sub is any of various sandwiches made on a long roll 12 long x3 wide or baguette called French bread or a submarine roll in the US, so called because of its shape. The contents typically include meat, cheese, lettuce, tomato, and various condiments, sauces or dressings. Served whole cut in small PCS. Tea sandwich or tea sandwich is a small sandwich meant to be eaten at afternoon tea time to stave off hunger until the main meal. The tea sandwich may take a number of different forms, but should be easy to handle, and should be capable of being eaten in two bites. It may be a long, narrow sandwich, a triangular half sandwich, or a small biscuit. It may also be cut into other decorative shapes with a cookie cutter. Ribbon sandwich colored bread is suitable for ribbon sandwiches. Alternate three slices each of pink and green bread with one or more fillings spread between slices. Press together stack of slices and then trim crusts. Wrap and chill for several hours. When ready to serve, cut into one half inch slices. Hot and grilled sandwiches known as contact grills. Trapping sandwich between two metal sheet, rigid square helps to seal the sandwich gives a uniform color. Second per one can also grilled on hot plate pan. Panini sandwich grilled Italian second per one made with panini, cut horizontally and filled with ham, cheese, mortadella, salami other food like lettuce, tomato etc. Toasted sandwich club sandwich, a club sandwich, also called a clubhouse sandwich is a type of sandwich, most often served as a double decker. It is usually cut into quarters, and held together by cocktail sticks, either frilly or plain. The traditional club ingredients are turkey, bacon, lettuce, and tomato. As with a BLT sandwich, the club sandwich is usually served on toasted bread, but untoasted bread can be used. Ham is sometimes substituted for bacon, and chicken sometimes for turkey. Bookmaker sandwich toasting two slices of white bread buttered grilled minted steak placed on bread and smeared with mustard paste, put buttered. Toast on top pressed bed metal plate, cut into three rectangles. Hot dog sandwich a cooked sausage eaten in a long soft piece of bread, often with ketchup or mustard. It can be topped with a hot topping such as chili or cheese sauce, or with cold toppings like cheese, coleslaw, and accompanied with chopped onions and other condiments. Fried closed sandwich are two pieces of bread encasing some type of filling which has been dipped into an egg mixture and then deep fried or pan fried till golden brown. They are often finished in an oven to ensure that the interior is hot. The frying should be done at 375 degrees. Precautions to take while preparing and storing sandwiches by sliced bread wherever possible it neater and quicker. 7. If you are slicing the bread yourself, pile up the slices in the order they have been cut. 8. Use sufficient filling for each sandwich he label should not be the only means of identification. 9. Beet should be free of all gristle and excessive fat. 10. Beware of dry meat. Moisten with lemon juice fish, mayonnaise vegetables or aspic jelly meats. When making roast beef sandwiches, it's best to leave the meat underdone. Conventional Buffet Continental Open Faced Rolled Pingreal Ribbon Grilled Ham and Cheese Croque Monsieur Croque Madame Streamer Max Hot Dog Gyro Burger Panini
Club Sandwich Bookmarker Denver Western Sandwich Danish Hot Tartar Closed Sandwich Open Faced Sandwich Triple Decker Sandwich Monte Cristo Salad Sandwich